Good evening. No nothing cook coming to you from where else? The No Nothing Kitchen. And we're going to do porchetta tonight. I kind of shot the. Uh, There it is. The pork bus. Again with pork. If you ever need some a recipe with pork, right here. Anyways, um, Helen, I know you're watching this, and this one here is for you. There might even be a subliminal, subliminal message in here for you. I don't know if that's the right term use of the word or whatever but a friend of mine the um, vulgar chef made a video for the Super Bowl and he made rolled up lasagna and as he was making it he says aren't you better to have this for the Super Bowl than chicken wings and I had to agree with them they look delicious but anyways um, this is the pork butt it's a nine pound pork butt and we're going to season it with a head of garlic, uh, black pepper, I have coarse ground and fine ground, and fennel, Fe rosemary, I'll be back. Fennel, oh look I had this, Whew. heart attack. Okay, so what we're going to do is... I'm going to do it all in the crock pot. Less of a mess. And, oh, how about this? They, uh, they took the bone out. I was thought I was going to show you how they take the bone out. Or the, yeah, the bone out. That's not going to happen. Let me prep this here and we'll be back. Okay. Now, I forgot to tell you this, I bought a whole pork butt, so when you get a whole pork butt, you get a lot of fat. And I use pork butt because I like the fat in my uh, porchetta. A lot of people use ham, ham I guess is very good, I would imagine. It's not as fatty as, um, as the butt. When you get a whole pork butt, you got to cut a lot of the fat out because then there's too much fat. So it's like over salting, a little too much fat. And you also have to look for the gland. There's a there's glands in there. You want to be chewing. You don't want to be biting into that. That that'll be that'll just leave a sour taste in your mouth. So, but if you're buying a small pork butt at the store, this is a whole pork butt. Big small ones you probably don't have to really trim it all that much. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, this we don't really have to like cover it in. In it because it's when it cooks it's going to fall apart and the uh, pepper is going to get all around it and the garlic is going to get all around it and uh, so you just want to make sure you get lots in there so this is a peppery meat and we want to get some fennel I'm going to chop some of this fennel up. And here we have a whole head of garlic. Black pepper and garlic are the most important part of porchetta. So we got a whole head here. And now, finally, real, real quick, real quick, final, Usually I use an old beer, but we have an old beer. This is dark, it's a... Uh, Gone before you know it. Seriously, Couch Surfer Oatmeal Stout. From our stash to your porchetta. 5.4 alcohol. I don't think that's gonna matter because it's all gonna it's all gonna burn off anyways. But you want a heavy beer if you're gonna use beer to put in 
and put it in there. And that's it. You're going to put the lid on this. I'm going to put it on high. I'm going to let it go throughout the night. Um, get up in the morning, morning and it'll be uh, falling apart. It's going to be delicious. Pepper. Can't add, really can't add too much pepper to pork cabbage. That's what pork cabbage is. But, um, we'll cook this overnight and we'll see you in the morning, all. Let me show you what it looks like before I sign out. Delicious. Good morning. This is after six hours of cooking on high. I had to put this aluminum foil on it because the meat is a little bit too big for this little crock pot. Oh, does that look delicious? Mm, you can only smell it. There it is. Now, let's show you. If you want to shred it, just take it and it all just falls apart. Well, supposed to fall apart but it's still got it's still got cooking time to go because <clears throat> this won't be getting eaten for a few more hours you take it apart shred it let it soak in the juices and then we'll probably no I know I will drain some of the juice off it out of it because then it'll be just too wet buddy Samson he's like he's hoping for drippings okay let me finish this and we'll show you what it looks like for game time and in the words of the vulgar chef keep bed tag why have chicken wings when you can have this oh, no nothing cook we'll see in a little bit Okay, this meat just fell apart as you were, as I was um, um, ripping it apart. Didn't take long at all, five, ten minutes. I um, extract, ah, that's hot. I extract it, most all the juice, but I'm going to pour a lot back in and let it simmer. Oh, this is delicious. <laughs> I know if, uh, there's going to be a, a few people who are going to be happy later on. But um, this was set on six, so if we're six hours, a uh, nine pound piece of pork, and um, I'm going to put it on and just let it, let it uh, steam till kickoff time. Now, Helen, were you paying attention, my dear? Um, though that this is this is delicious. I've been eating. This is one of the things that's real good about when you prep the food. You get to eat it as you're going along. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's the taste test. Keeper and um, no nothing cook. Thanking you for this view. Any comments? And um, have a wonderful day, everybody. Because I know I am, and I know a few other people that are also. Later. Also, when you're ripping it apart, you always got to get a little bit of something for your best friend. <laughs> you're going to enjoy that. Now it's later.